What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Uh, you're watching Corbett S. Garage. And we are moving on to episode number three. Uh, I believe I have enough part to present you all on uh, what's basically going to be put into uh, the Corvette. So, um, uh, I, I am still waiting on one more part. Um, I mean, this, this COVID pandemic, is, I guess, is still going. I mean, stuff, the stuff that I'm ordering on a back order or not available, and it's, it's, it's really uh, frustrating, but... Uh, We've had a lot of things happen to us since the last episode anyway, uh, and, uh, and we actually uh, recorded episode number four before we recorded episode number three. The big reason being is I wanted to make sure I had enough parts to present uh, uh, everyone um, on what, are, what, what I'm going to be doing to this uh, Corvette. Uh, but. Uh, uh, I guess uh, we've all been waiting, and you've been waiting, I've been waiting, and uh, um, let's get to it then. We'll be right back after this. Say it's all been bad. I have had. I also have started a new project. Um, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it, it's something that um, I'm doing similar uh, as a Corvette, but uh, more internal parts. Uh, it, it's uh, uh, it's going to be fun too. I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm performing. I'm bringing up the performance in it. And, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll just wait. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. I'm going to be pushing out a video on it, uh, and uh, we'll see. Uh, right now, I don't want to clog everybody, I mean, discourage anybody, because uh, that, that, that I started because uh, I needed something to do. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll disclose the, that in, at a later date. But anyway, uh, let's start off with what's going to keep the car cool. As, uh, some of the Instagram guys already know, I've already pushed this out. Um, this this was I received this uh, here not too long ago, and uh, I, I'll see. I'll probably post a picture of what it looked like when I received it. It's a little dusty right now. Um, but. Uh, I did uh, polish the uh, aluminum out uh, to come out to be a mirror finish, and it really did come out pretty good. Um, I'm really, real impressed with that one. I'm glad I did that. Um, again, here this piece, if you're an uh, Instagram uh, person, uh, then you, you probably remember uh, the pictures that I had of this. And this is basically the uh, housing. Uh, it, uh, it basically goes over the there we go uh, it goes over the radiator uh, I did have to customize the hole you will I mean if you go to aluminum radiator you will have to enlarge the hole here uh, and the side so your uh, transmission line can go through um, that's pretty much it as far as that and the bottom also uh, on that side you have to enlarge the, the, uh, the, the hole uh, for the uh, bottom piece to fit over that. So as you can see, uh, I'm able to get to the uh, uh, radiator cap with no issues. I did get a round radiator cap though because uh, it might be a little bit clearance issues right here with the regular style radiator cap. So uh, the round one, uh, it's, it's a lot better fit for this, something like this. Um, let's see. Also, I got a uh, high flow uh, water pump. Uh, that's also going to assist in the cooling. I got this from Summit Racing. Uh, it's uh, pretty nice. It's aluminum. You know, it looks pretty, but you know, I like here as long as it does the job. And aluminum keeps, keeps 
keeps the uh, coolant cooler. Also, I ended up getting a, there we go, we're going to do a 180 uh, thermostat. And uh, this one's a Mr. Gasket. Um, and uh, we're also going to do a, um, um, replace the, what is it called? The coolant uh, air temperature uh, sensor to a, uh, what was it, 195 to 210. I haven't got that one yet, but uh, uh, I'll, be, I'll be getting that one here real soon. Uh, also, Procharger has provided uh, some additional uh, hoses for the top here to be rerouted. Uh, of course, I got a brand new uh, uh, Gates uh, uh, bomb hose there. So that's far. That's just, that's pretty much it on the cooling. Uh, let's uh, move on to the next uh, uh, part. All right, moving on to the intercooler. Oh, this is the intercooler that was provided in the kit that I purchased from the Pro Charger. Let's take a look at this here. It's pretty heavy. It's a solid kit, that's for sure. Or a solid, uh, uh, no polar right there. All right. All right anyway, uh, this is what the air cooler looks like. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, it, I, 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 I really do like the, 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 the raw finish of the, uh, the cooler. Um, I suppose I could probably buff that out just like I did with the radiator, but uh, I kind of like this. You pretty much won't see it anyway, but I think I'll use some of my uh, uh, Blue Magic uh, polisher. Wax on that. Wax off. And kind of uh, rub it on here and see how, how it comes out. Uh, I, I don't think, like I said, I like the, the raw look here. Um, it looks cool. Oh, it's fucking heavy, man. Anyway, there's some parts here that was also included with the kit. Uh, we're going to be uh, uh, adding, actually redoing the air dam system. Um, and this is also provided uh, in the kit by Pro Charger. Uh, it's, uh, so far, the kit's uh, pretty, pretty complete. Um, I'm impressed. You know, they, they, they didn't leave anything out. Uh, there's also um, hoses and stuff that we'll go, we're all, um, go, go, go to that next. So, uh, that's it for the cooling system, or the air cooler. Uh, let's move on to the next. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Uh, moving on to the heart of the Pro Charger kit. Um, I was also provided uh, FMC fuel management uh, or FMU fuel management unit. Um, yeah, this is going to uh, regulate the amount of uh, fuel going into the motor at boost. Okay, uh, man, I'm glad I got a red one. That's cool. Red, red. Is my one of my favorite colors. Uh, also, they provided uh, a blow-off valve or a surge valve, however you want to call them. Um, that's what it looks like there. Our charger calls them bypass valves, which is probably the correct terminology. They're basically designed to relieve the boost pressure when the throttle blades are closed. Uh, and uh, turbos have the uh, blow-off valves. And then they've also provided. Um, an external um, high flow pump. Uh, looks like they got some wiring in here, which is cool. Um, uh, this is going to uh, push that fuel uh, in that motor where I need it the most. So that's the heart of the system. Uh, let's see some more stuff. Okay. What we have here is all the piping for the uh, supercharger. Uh, all uh, powder coated black. Um, solid too, actually. I don't know if that's aluminum or not, but that feels. Uh, now I don't think it's aluminum. Let's 
too heavy to be aluminum. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's metal. Yeah, it's metal. It's pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna leave these in the bag. It's no sense of taking those out. You get the you get the message. Uh, also, we have the, uh, the rubber tubing for the supercharger and uh, air cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd say uh, these guys, Pro uh, Chargers, have done their homework. They're pretty good. Um, and uh, for Corvettes, I mean, they, they do a lot of uh, other cars, uh, but um, I mean, they pretty much got it down. Uh, to, they've done their homework. Um, they uh, pretty much, uh, uh, it's a complete kit when you receive it. Uh, and the add-ons, uh, you know, it's just like the air dam, you know, that, that's, that's awesome. That's pretty good. All right, let's move on to the, the jewels. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. Here's the meat. Okay. This is what uh, uh, I opted to buy. It's the polish unit. Uh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. I, you know, I was speechless when I got that. They actually sent me the satin uh, finish by accident. Uh, so, I mean, I, I had to wait a whole month for to get the kit. I find out when I got the kit, um, it was a satin uh, uh, supercharger. So, got back with them, said, hey, it's not what I wanted. I paid for uh, uh, the polished one, that's what I want. So, I had to send that one back. Uh, didn't cost me any money. Uh, they just sent uh, FedEx or UPS out here and they picked it up. I just had to package it. And uh, I had to wait about a month before I got the polished one, but it was worth the wait, man. Uh, it's really beautiful. Uh, nice, nice, nice polished supercharger. Um, also, there's the uh, pulley for it. I am going to go down size on the pulley. Um, because uh, the research I've done, you guys are getting just with the straight uh, 50 state legal kit, uh, they're getting about uh, uh, 330 horsepower. Um, and uh, I, I want to get at least 350 to the ground. So I'm going to go smaller with the pulley. Uh, that's why it's off. Uh, I'm going to order um, a grip tack pulley. Not that I need it, but I, I, I probably will at, uh, when I uh, if I do something to the motor. But this is your 50 state uh, legal kit. Um, this is the bracket that uh, is, that goes on to the motor. It's pretty pretty solid bracket, you know, uh, and it's also polished. Beautiful. I like the shiny stuff. Also, to complement the uh, supercharger, um, according to uh, Procharger, uh, their manual, I have to do a different uh, alternator. Uh, my alternator, I think it was a, a 15 or a 17 SI, which is a, a big monster uh, alternator. And I decided, I, got, I have to go to the CS130 alternator, which I believe was a, an offered in 1986 to I, I want to say 92, but it could be 90. I think they did uh, or they did something else after that. Uh, but it's definitely a smaller alternator. And of course, I got the uh, 160 amp one, uh, Chrome. You know, uh, I think that should pretty much uh, keep the uh, electronics going on it. Um, but it's a nice alternator. Uh, I, I, I like the Chrome finish. It's gonna look good underneath that in that, in that motor. Also, I uh, picked up the uh, MSD uh, the 6AL, which uh, has a rev limiter on it uh, that I can control. I like that idea. Um, and it's a good unit. Uh, a lot of the uh, blower guys are running this MSD box uh, because uh, they, they, they need the hotter, they need that, that spark to be strong or the supercharger can blow it out. So we don't want that. So, uh, I ended up picking up a new uh, pillar arm uh, for that side because I have to drill holes in it. Uh, I don't like hacking up my car. 
You know, and if I do, that's not going to be the original part. You know, and uh, I'm pulled. It might not make no sense to you. It does to me. Uh, I like the original parts to stay with the car. Okay, so if I got to do any hacking, I'm going to replace it with something else and hack that up instead. So uh, there you go. There. Uh, that's the Pro Charger kit. Now I do have one last thing to do. Uh, that one last thing to show you, which was an afterthought. So uh, let's get that up on the table. Good morning, Vietnam. I just got my intake back. Yes, I did pull my intake off, uh, and I have them sent in and powder coated. Anyway, this is what the runners look like. Um, it came out pretty good. Whoop. It came out pretty good, and it's pound. And uh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy the way this one came out. Um, good job. They did a good job on it. Of course, I have the uh, distributor cap or cover. Uh, I'm not gonna pull it, pull that one open, but that's also been uh, powder coated too. But there it is, right there, guys. Uh, I promise when I got all this put together in there, it's gonna it's gonna be clean. Uh, it's gonna be clean. It's gonna be fast. I'm gonna love it. Sus the cars already, the suspension's already been re done. Uh, you know, the Coney shocks, the heavy duty sway bars, polyurethane bushings, uh, and, and it handles real good. Uh, you know, I mean, it's 85, but uh, it, it'll uh, handle a lot of a lot of the stock Corvettes out there. And don't let anybody tell you any different. You know, I mean. You know, like, people out there will tell you, hey, you know, yeah, you should get the 96, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter. Get what you can afford, you know. And, you know, the, the cheaper it is, the more you can, the more performance parts you can add on. And you'll, you'll, you'll surpass that uh, level uh, of a 96, you know, uh, Corvette. But, uh, you know, I, even with the, the small block Chevy in there, you take it apart. You, you make it better, you know. I mean, you know, that, that, that's what you do. That's what, my, that's what my old school guys do. Didn't matter what the hell came with the car. If it needed improvement, it got improved. Bottom line, you make it strong, you make it powerful, you make it, you make it bad. That's the name of the game. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to see any more of these videos come out. And uh, like the video if you like it. You know, uh, I would appreciate it. And uh, comment. You got any comments on it uh, or any questions? Feel free to, to drop drop a comment on, on the uh, uh, on the page. Uh, until then, happy Fourth of July. Take care.